Hey Stylish Mamas, today I want to talk about supporting your local designers. It is so important that whatever industry you are in, that you support the industry within your community. I truly believe that, I always have. That is why I'm a writer for the Presidio Senadol. It's not really necessarily about just going to the events, it's really about supporting the people behind these events. It takes a lot to pull together and to show collections as a designer in the fashion industry, whether you are big time or whether you were just starting out. So for me, I have always decided to support designers. And in that, I have been able to um, work with designers, which has been amazing to be able to build relationships with them and get to know the designer behind the brand and be able to push their brand and push their design aesthetic on the community to let them know who's around that can offer them some new unique pieces in their wardrobe. So for me, being a writer for the Presidio Senadol, I have covered many different designers. From when I worked with Andre Soriano, Victoria Roberts as well. She was like very fun and creative and some of the stuff that I wore of her is just so burlesque-ish and I, it, I felt really flirty and fun in those outfits. Uh, Teresa Torres, her maternity stuff, which was amazing, and that I was able to collaborate with her. Oseas Villatoro, he ended up always dressing me when I was, actually, when I was pregnant with my son the first time, and even postpartum, post-baby, which was really great to be able to work with him after the baby was born as well. They're, they're all great, so creative, and so fun to work with. I have definitely enjoyed meeting them all and being able to give back to them what they give to us. They're putting in a lot of work, effort, and money into showing their pieces and their items. And, and just recently, being able to go to his show and support him as a designer as well. He just recently put on a show his second annual experience fashion night and last time it was just it was super artsy and creative and that's why I enjoyed going to his show a few years back because it really did showcase not only the artist behind pieces but also the designer and actually he, he was very um, because of him being a designer I believe he was very focused and driven on the designer and being able to for the designer to share what they exactly had for the audience he ended up having their bios throughout the event so that we could read about the designer which I think is like super important for us to get an actual impact and a glimpse of who the designer is behind their collection the show itself the actual runway itself I'm going to show you some clips of it but it was really great uh, these designers put in work for this show and it was very cool to see off-season pieces that usually Fashion Week San Diego usually that's the big event here um, for fashion it's nice to go to other shows and see that you know it's we need to be a tight community when it comes to the fashion industry and it's cool that other people decided to kind of pull together and make something else on off season of fashion week because they're not alike at all. So it was nice to be able to go to something small and something intimate to be able to support these designers and showcasing their new items and their new collections. It was a fun show. I did enjoy watching the runway and checking it out and all the artwork there it was beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous artwork. And they even had some music and a DJ. It was a very nice event, very calm, very chill and uh, it was really truly about the designers there was no alcohol so it was definitely design focused it literally when it ended it ended and it was kind of nice just to go watch a show see a couple designers take some notes be able to show you guys and then have it end and then i'm able now just to you know look back on it and write about it and um Sure. I was able to wear an outfit by Oseas Villatoro. He created for me, especially after having baby. I said what kind of I wanted an Empire waist so that I might want to have my stomach shown. And I got asked anyway if I was pregnant with the outfit, anyways. So this outfit was super cute. 
you're gonna see me rocking it with Osaeus. My friend Leslie came and she was able to wear one of the vintage pieces of Osaeus from I'd say 2014 and it was really cute. It worked on her so well. Let me show you. Here is what Osaeus made me. It has the loop and this ties in with some of his other collection pieces. Holding the shoulder up, with the long tassels. I have a really great slit up the side to show my leg. And there's an asymmetrical going on here. One sleeve, not one sleeve. <laughs> and there's just a long flowy, the back's a little longer than the front. This is a pleather. And then this awesome magazine print, which who doesn't love that idea? So great. I didn't really know what to wear with it bag wise. And so I ended up wearing this bag. It is like a magazine. It was super cute. I didn't get any photos with it, but it really ended up going fairly well. This actually was a purse that was at my daughter's shower. And so we were able to utilize this and it just, it worked out really cute. I did feel good in it. Besides the lady saying, how far along are you? That's not cool. Don't do that. Don't do that to people. Women, don't do that to women. I, well, you would ever ask a woman how far along they are. I don't understand. How far along are you? Why would you ask that? Anyways, it was a great outfit. It was a great show. So thank you, Osaeus, for allowing me to be only a part of the show, having VIP and making me something amazing to wear that I felt really good and confident in that I can carry on throughout my days. And I'm totally going to keep that forever because I just, I just love that. And it just, like I said, it just fit in with my whole aesthetic. <laughs> Star had some amazing jewelry that I could see San Diegan women wearing.
was looking at them going like, wow, like those are really unique pieces. And I could totally see San Diegans rocking them at the beach or at the pool, which were very cool. Jessica Garcia had some great prints, some great outfits for the working woman, some of them, and some also kind of just funky uh, outfits that kind of grungy look. It, I mean, to me, kind of grungy, you could mix the grunge with the sophistication and kind of make it into just your own aesthetic, which was really cool to see as well on the runway. And some of the stuff was like ripped, and so it looked like there was an actual um, the V-shaped shoulders and ripped, so it definitely gave it some dimension to it, some uh, sym symmetry, and it was cool to see that as well. sequence uh, she started it off talking about unicorn like appearance and truly was very um, bright and colorful and very much like it felt like mermaids like in the sea go in with something more nature-like feathers or furs it was kind of fun to see that I just gotta say Oseas's stuff blew me away and I had to tell him personally it was very cool to see what he has come up with for the woman I understand they had the men's underwear line I'm not a man I'm sure if I was a man I'd be like wow but I'm not and um, I wasn't really focused on it as much as I was on the woman's stuff and these women's outfits that he pulled together and made just blew my mind. I, I didn't know what he was doing, and him and I never discussed what he was creating. So when I did see it, I was very impressed. Media, Zaval, Jessica Garcia, Dawn Star, Oseas Velotaro. They would really appreciate your followings and even some orgers. If you're interested in any of the items, please go on and support your local designers. Like, subscribe, comment below, and I hope you enjoyed it. Do you, because you are important. If any of these pieces make you feel good, please go out and buy them and support local. All right, bye guys. She did. And uh, you know, it's kind of embarrassing when you're like, you know, just getting off the boat of having a baby and someone asks that and you're just like, are you kidding me? Did you really just ask that? Because I really am not really wanting right now to talk about that because I'm trying to enjoy myself. <laughs> so anyway, don't ask that people. Don't ask how far along you are ever. It's rude. Don't do it. If you see them drinking champagne, maybe you would know that they're not pregnant at all. I, this, is, this is a mess. This is a mess. I keep like messing up. I keep like redoing it, but I keep messing up. Cut. 
This lighting's good, huh? Do you like my hair? My hair's gotten really long lately. Cut. Uh, cut again.